All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is day two of solving systems of linear equations using elimination. All right, so example one, we're solving the system using elimination. And the first thing that you want to check always if you're solving the system for the variables x and y to see if your variables are lined up. And a lot of you didn't really or don't really number your equations one and two, but I'm going to do it for the sake of the video. So I have my equations one and two listed right there. So in any particular order, I'm selecting it to be, I'm going to go with equation number one, and I'm going to rewrite it as the x, y constant format. So I have a negative x plus 3y equals 12. So that's the first equation in my system. So then the second equation, I have to file the same exact format in the same exact order with an x, y, and then a constant. So I have negative 20x minus 40 equals negative 10y. And I have to add 10y to both sides. And I get negative 20x plus 10y minus 40 equals 0. So a lot of you forget the fact that if you subtract or add the opposite of the given constant, then it's going to become 0. So don't forget that at the end. So I'm going to add 40 to both sides to get my x, y, and then constant and then that'll be my second uh, equation of my system. So then once everything's lined up, I want to eliminate a variable. So I've decided to eliminate my x by multiplying the first equation by negative 20. Because if I have to eliminate the negative 20x from the bottom, which is blue, well, the top term has to be a positive 20x. So what I have to do is I have to multiply every single term by a negative 20. So when I do that, I'm distributing to every single term, and I get a positive 20x minus 60y equals negative 240, and then my second equation stays the same. So once I realize that I have two opposite terms, I'm going to add both of my equations to cancel out my one of my variables, and then add the rest of them out. So I have negative 60y plus 10y equals negative 50y, and then negative 240 equals I'm sorry, negative 240 plus 40 equals negative 20. So since we have a 0x, I'm just going to cancel that out and then solve for my y, divide both sides by negative 50, and then y equals 4. So that's one of my variables. So then to get my other variable, you know that you just substitute that y into either equation. I'm selecting the first equation, 12 equals 3y equals x. Or I'm sorry, minus x. Substitute in my y and solve for x. Beautiful. So then my x is equal to 0. So that being said, I'm going to check my answers always just so that I'm being more selfish sufficient. So I picked the first equation, uh, I'm sorry, the second equation, negative 20x minus 40 equals negative 10y, and substituting my values. And then simplifying, and it checks out. Make sure you write down questions. Don't just copy down the equation and not really know what's going on. Uh, yeah, so make sure you write down questions on the side or take notes on the side. All right, so the second example is a little bit more, I guess, difficult in my opinion. Uh, so like always, we're going to number our equations one and two. We're solving the systems using elimination. And I want to rewrite my equations so that they are in the same exact order. So if you look at the first equation, I have negative 4x plus 3y equals negative 11, which is fine by me. I like the xy constant format. And then my second equation, I'm going to change into the same exact format. So I need to rearrange my terms using the additive inverses. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. So I have negative 3x plus 2y equals negative 8. Perfect. So I have my 3x, I'm sorry, negative 3x plus 2y ne uh, equals negative 8. So I'm going to write that in my second equation of my system. All right, so now I'm looking at my system, and I don't have anything that I can really cancel out. So I'm going to select a variable, so I'm going to pick my x's to cancel out first. So in order for me to cancel out my x's, I have a negative 4, and I have a negative 3. So I'm looking for the greatest common factor between the two numbers. So... I'm going to multiply the first equation by a positive 3, 
and the second equation by a negative 4. So if I actually multiply and distribute the 3 to the first equation, I'm going to get a negative 12x plus 9y equals negative 33. So multiplying the second equation by a negative 4, I'm trying to make that x term in blue the opposite of what I see in my red. So I, it's currently negative 12x. I want to make it a positive 12x. So in order to do so, negative 4 times negative 3 is going to do the trick. There we go. So now that I have an opposite, so I have a negative 12x and then a positive 12x, I'm just going to add my two equations together, get rid of my x variable, and now solve, we already solved for our y variable, so y equals negative 1. So just like always, substitute that into one of the equations. I selected number 1. There you go. So x equals 2. So check in my answers to double check to see if it is correct. I'm going to pick the second equation and I have to double check to see if whatever I substitute into my equation will equal 0 on the right. Okay, so 8 minus 3 times 2 plus 2 times negative 1 looks good. We have to check to see if that equals 0. Boom, done. Alright, so make sure you if the video is too fast, make sure you pause it whenever you get a chance, and then definitely ask me questions the next day. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys had a great break, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.